Agric is not a side hustle, none whatsoever. You can't, it is not a retirement project, it is not a side hustle, and you should definitely consider it as a full-time business. Two, you need a proper business plan, and I mean proper business plan from proper professionals in the agri sector with real life situations and scenarios. Three, you need adequate financing, enough financing to, to, to last for the business over a one or two year period, at least considered serious in agri. Four, you need to dedicate time, enough time. I cannot repeat this enough. You can't be working nine to five and then say you have a family member doing your business for you. You need to dedicate enough time for it to grow. Five, you need to get practicing professionals. Here again, practicing professionals, not just professionals, not just consultants that have never practiced before in the agribusiness, but practicing professionals. Six, you need to create a support system around the business. You need people that have been there before you, people that support the business, the business you're trying to run, the value chain you're trying to run, uh, to run, but you need, definitely you need to get a support system. Seven, you need to understand your value chain. Either you're in catfish, okra, mango, cocoa, anything whatsoever, you need to understand your value chain. Preferably, shadow somebody in the business. Eight, you need to manage your expectations. Agriculture is not a get-rich-quick get scheme. You need to understand that some things take time, some things take one year, some take six months, some three months, some five years. You need to know what to expect from others and yourself to be in the business. Now, you need to educate yourself. Educate yourself consistently about the latest technology, about what goes on in the business formally and informally, because that will depend on your survival. Ten, you need to have passion. Agriculture is a passion-based business. If you don't have passion, you will not survive the tough times. And there will always be tough times. Thank you very much.